percent. And with those numbers so high, local businesses face the possibility of new restrictions. El Paso County health officials are waiting to hear back from the state after submitting an updated plan to contain the virus last week. KRDO News Channel 13's Julia Donovan is live in the newsroom with that. Julia. Lauren Bart, the state health department will decide whether this mitigation plan is a realistic way to lower the number of new COVID-19 cases. If not, then we'll see those new restrictions. El Paso County's new mitigation plan involves additional messaging to the public, encouraging people to wash their hands, social distance and wear a mask. And recommendations for businesses like increasing hand washing signage in offices, providing flu shots, maximizing remote work and putting effective sick policies in place. The mitigation plan also says public health is working with the food industry to expand dining options through the winter months. If the state decides this isn't enough to reverse the current upward trend in cases, then El Paso County will go from safer at home level one to level three, where we'll see gathering limits, including indoor events capped at 25 people and restaurants reduced to 25% capacity or 50 people. If COVID-19 cases keep rising at the current rate, we'll exceed an incidence rate of 350 in an additional two weeks, and the state will have to consider sending us back to a stay at home order. However, a spokesperson for El Paso County Public Health told KRDO Monday they think it's a bit preemptive to talk about the possibility of a stay at home order since they're hoping this mitigation plan works. Right now, it's unclear when the state health department will get back to the county with their decision on the county's plan. Live in the newsroom, Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13.